and you get pregnant if one tube is blocked so this is a million dollar question because many patients come to the OPD whose one tube is open and one tube is blocked so this is a very tricky question because the doctor has to judge that whom to leave for a natural conception and whom to take up for an IVF cycle so first and foremost we need to check that if the tube is open what kind it is open so the HSD report many times is dubious because you might be having a spasm in the tubes or anything in these cases we advise the patient to go for laparoscopy because if we are going for laparoscopy then we can see the tubes directly and we can assess whether it is normal or not because many times one tube is open it might happen that many times your one tube is blocked one tube is open so it might happen then we, when we do a laparoscopy the other tubes also get open so you have both tubes open but in some cases if my, it might happen that your one tube is already blocked and when we put a laparoscope inside we see the other tube is also not good means it might be open but it might be adhered somewhere you might see that it is it has thickened there is inflammation in it so in these kind of cases your tube is totally bad in this case then we say look your both the tubes are bad it is open but it is not functional it's not working so in these kind of patients also we tell them to undergo a IVF cycle and in some cases when one tube is blocked and one tube is perfectly normal we put a laparoscope we see that one tube is perfectly normal in these kind of patients we try to make them pregnant but the ovulation has to be on the side in which the tube is open so we need to monitor these cycles because we can't leave the patient like that we need to monitor these cycles if the ovulation happens in that side then the patient might get pregnant if the patient doesn't want monitoring then in that, that case we can give them a time frame that okay you can go back for maybe six months seven months then if you don't conceive during this time please do come back to us because your one tube is already blocked and you have less chances of conception rather than a patient who has got both tubes open so basically this is a line of management in which a patient comes with one tube block so there are chances of natural conception also but that tube has to be investigated thoroughly before we leave you for a natural conception we care about you